Good day, everyone! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. I am Ma'am Gurney Manalansan, and for today's topic, we will be discussing Quarter 1, Module 2, Plate Boundaries. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe the different types of plate boundaries and identify the places plates that lie on the different types of boundaries. Before we proceed, let us have a short review regarding your previous lesson. In your past lesson, you are done with the plate tectonics and its relationship to the distribution of earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and major mountain belts. Let us have question number one. Compare the location of majority of earthquake epicenters with the location of the volcanoes around the world. The answer is... Earthquake epicenters and volcanoes are both situated at the same locations. And for question number two... How will you relate the distribution of mountain ranges with the distribution of earthquake epicenters and volcanoes? The answer is, mountain ranges are found in places where volcanoes and earthquake epicenters are also located. Good job, my dear students! Are you ready to learn something new today? Let's get started! Our topic is all about plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are the edges where two plates meet. This is the map showing the relative motion of plates. Arrows indicate the direction of motion. There are three types of plate boundaries and it depends on how the plates move relative to each other. The first type of plate boundary is divergent boundary. It is a region where the crustal plates are moving apart. The formation of oceanic ridges and reef valleys are indications that the crust is spreading apart. Mid-ocean ridge is formed by the divergence between oceanic plates, while continental rift valley is formed between continental plates. As the plates separate, new materials from the mantle ooze up to fill the gap. These materials will slowly cool to produce new ocean floor, and that is divergent boundary. Convergent boundary is the second type of plate boundaries. It is a boundary in which two plates move toward each other. This boundary has three types. Oceanic continental plate boundary, two oceanic plate boundary, and two continental plate boundary. Let us have first the subduction before we proceed with the three types of convergent boundary. It is an event in which a slab of rock thrusts into the mantle. The reason for this is because the denser oceanic crust undergo the process of subduction or the bending of the crust towards the mantle. The first type of convergent boundary is the oceanic continental plate boundary. It is where oceanic and continental plates collide. This boundary is also called destructive boundary. And one important geologic feature is formed, and that is the trench. There is also the occurrence of earthquakes. And in this type of convergent boundary, subduction happens. The second type of convergent boundary is the two oceanic plate boundary. It is where oceanic and another oceanic plate collides. And because of that, there is a formation of trench.
occurrence of earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic island arc. The leading edge of the subducted plate would eventually reach the mantle and causing it to melt and turn into magma. The molten material will rise to the surface creating a volcanic island arc and that is parallel to the trench. The third type of convergent boundary is two continental plate boundary. When two continental plates collide, a collision zone is formed. Both plates collide and buckle up causing mountain ranges. Unlike the other two types of convergent boundaries, subduction ceases for this particular type of convergence. Therefore, no trench, no volcano, and definitely no island arc are created during this process. Instead, what is created is a large group of tall mountains called mountain range. The best example of the two continental plate boundary is the Himalayas, wherein two large land masses collide, the Indian plate and Eurasian plate. And finally, the third type of plate boundary is called the transform fault boundary. It occurs when two plates slide past each other horizontally. A well-known transform plate boundary is the San Andreas Fault, which is responsible for many of California's earthquakes. Learners, always remember this. Convergent Collide Divergent Divide and Transform Fault Boundary Slide For you to master and strengthen the basic concept of plate boundaries, let us have the enrichment activity. The figure shows the relative motion of the plates as indicated by the arrows. It is very simple learners. You will just identify the type of plate boundary using this map. For number one question, what type of plate boundary happens in Eurasian plate and Philippine plate? Is it convergent or divergent? Time is up! The answer is convergent. Very good! For number two, the Pacific and North American plate slide past to each other. Is it transform or divergent? Time is up! The answer is transform. That's great! And finally, what type of plate boundary occurs between South American plate and African plate. Is it convergent or divergent? The answer is divergent. Well done! Learners, at this moment, let us have the assessment. We have here the relative motion of the plates as well as the geologic features or events. All you have to do is to identify if it belongs to convergent, divergent, or transform fault boundary. I will give you 20 seconds for this assessment. Oops, time is up! It is now time for us to check if your answers are correct. Are you ready, learners? Let's start! For letter A, moving away from each other. Correct, divergent. For letter B, moving towards each other. 
That's nice. Convergent boundary. And finally, for the relative motion of the plates, letter C, sliding past each other. Correct. Transform fault boundary. For geologic features, letter D, earthquakes. That's nice. Transform fault boundary. For letter E, mountains, volcanoes, trenches, and earthquakes. Very good, convergent. And finally, reef valleys, oceanic ridges, and earthquakes. Very good, divergent boundary. Learners, that signifies that you learned from our topic. Let us have the summary of our lesson. We discuss the plate boundaries. It includes the three types of plate boundaries such as divergent boundary, convergent boundary which is comprises of oceanic continental plate boundary, two oceanic plate boundary, and two continental plate boundary. And finally, the transform fault boundary. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot for today's topic. Always remember, science matters. Good day.